What's going on guys and welcome to Croup Manor. In this video we're going to solely be dealing with the walls and I'm going to use a few techniques I normally use but I am back to using mods. But the simple fact is building with mods is just so much more better. It's so much more creative, it's so much more fun to actually do it and the mods themselves because they're created by quite talented people they inspire you to build better stuff. So the mods I'm going to be using is mainly the plywood mod to use all the bits of plywood which is obviously going to come in massive handy which that doesn't even make sense um, in fixing the walls for this video and we're also going to go on to fixing the floors and the roofs and whatnot. That's why I picked this settlement. I thought it was a perfect settlement that has the overall building already done and we can literally just kind of patch up the bits that are broken. It's kind of perfect to show that kind of little technique. I'm using business settlements for the cool signs and whatnot. I used that in the past for my Starlight drive through uh, build and I really enjoyed that mod so I got that back as well so I'm going to be using that actually as well to fix the walls so I'll show you how I do that in a bit and remember guys all the mods I'm using for this build will be down in the description with their links so the first section I'm going to be fixing is just this little section and I'm using the plywood mod for this and I found this really cool kind of piece it's kind of lots of bits of wood already stuck together so I kind of shimmy that into place and then I realize there's a problem with this piece even though it's amazing looking if I kind of scoot around to the other side uh, it's kind of invisible so I kind of go back fill in the little gaps jump back around start to fill in the gaps and I, I think well I might as well just use the same one on the other side because it kind of makes more sense so I just did that and it turned out pretty all right it's very simple this is kind of the most simplest basic kind of technique I'm going to be using is just using these bits of plywood and whatnot to kind of fill in the gaps as you can see I recess it a little bit so the actual original wall kind of sticks out a little bit more to give it that more depth but not just that to make it look more realistic like it's actually inside the wall rather than just kind of chucked on top so in the next part I scoot around to the corner I'm using scoot a lot I need to change the words because people always pick up on the words I use quite a lot so I try and change that yeah so like before we kind of use an imply boards again uh, making sure it overlaps on certain bits to kind of give it a more believable look and then we go ahead and actually use just the standard shack walls these kind of standard bits of shack walls are really cool because they have a lot of kind of 3d elements to them bits that kind of stick out and bits that don't so you have them bits that overlap and some bits that don't which kind of just a really quick and easy way to kind of just fill in these gaps and i forgot to mention i'm using place everywhere of course because that's like the best mod ever to allow me to place everywhere so yeah like i said about uh, the business settlements i'm using it basically using the signs to fill in the little gaps it's easier than trying to resize boards and whatnot all the time i can just grab the little signs to fill in the little gaps making sure i kind of tuck them in so they're not kind of sticking floating on the outside it's kind of on a board and then there's some more boards kind of laid over it or bits of wood or whatnot this kind of gives it more of that believable look so yeah that kind of little section it's kind of a little bit different from the first one the first one was very basic just using plywood this one using a few kind of different pieces to kind of sell it and make it a little bit more believable so next up we're going to be moving on to the second story which is a bit more broken up uh, we got this corner piece that has a massive chunk out of it and like before we're using some walls this time we're using the barn walls and as you can see i just use a cool little trick basically by placing down a floor i can kind of stand up here without having to fly because the problem is we'll use a no clip is once you place a piece you can't pick it back up again to readjust it so just simply using a shack floor i can come place it down turn off no clip kind of just walk around on it and just move it about so now moving on we got some more little pieces that are actually not from the mods that i mentioned i've heard to mention this one this is the roofs walls no, it's roofs, floors, walls, but I don't know. It's one of them. It's, it'll be down in the description or there'll be a word or something on the screen right now. So just check that out. That's another cool one. I used that before quite a lot. 
and when I used to chuck my boys down. But yeah, once again, I'm using the same technique as I did before, kind of using the walls, using the signs, and using obviously the plywood out uh, and the boards from the other mod I just mentioned to kind of just fill in. Make sure I'm not repeating textures. So that's a big problem as well, using the same board or the same wall constantly. It kind of just breaks the whole illusion that it's kind of just pieces found. So just keep that in mind when you're building this kind of style of stuff. Okay, and for the next kind of wall fixing and whatnot, uh, we got this big section cowper here and I wanted to add a window because we haven't added a window yet. Like I said before, but reusing the same texture. As you can see, I got the same kind of wall right next to it and that would just completely kill the look. So I just simply swapped over to this other kind of half wall and chucked that down. Next up, I'm using the shack wall again, but keep this in mind. As you can see, I've got certain bits overlapping, but the main thing about this one is to make sure that kind of wooden beam on the left hand side is actually going down with the window frame. It makes it more believable and more kind of sellable and it kind of just fits. It fits more to the kind of what's going on. And then again, using the same kind of technique, just chucking down some boards, making sure I try and mix up as many different kind of boards and styles as possible. So it's not kind of too copy and paste, but it's kind of just using the same technique. It's a simple technique, it's repeatable, but as long as you're using kind of different materials, you can completely sell it and make it look completely different from the other side, which when we take a bird's eye view at the end, we can see. But to finish off the window, I used this technique quite a lot in the past. I simply just put a wired fence kind of inside the window to add a little bit more security, but it also adds to that kind of apocalyptic vibe. And that section kind of turned out pretty good. The inside is a bit square, but it works nonetheless. And moving on to, I believe, the final area, which is this big massive section that has been taken out of the top kind of level um, for this one we're actually going to be adding a doorway I didn't want to obviously keep doing the same thing but I also wanted to keep this kind of roofed section for people to walk out on on the top so I simply used the barn doorway because I found it was the kind of best one to go with because it has that wood already there and it's kind of worn and whatnot and then I used the same techniques as I've used throughout this whole build is simply using them bits of plywood, the walls, the kind of half bits, even some signs, just to fill in all them gaps and break up the wall, give that kind of apocalyptic style that we kind of want to go for, definitely. Some people say this is kind of like a Raider style, and this for me is just the style of the apocalypse. So yeah, we've finished it and I hope you like it. I enjoyed building this. I, it's kind of a little bit different, a little bit more slower, a little bit more kind of taking the time. And it's not too crazy yet, but obviously we'll get to the point. I'm trying to make these a little bit more simpler so people can actually follow them and it's not just chuck loads of crap and you just can't see actually in the process I go through. Um, so I thought it would be a lot nicer if I do it kind of more slower, even if it's just for this one build and then we go back to just going nuts. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you all through the process even getting to the kind of adding the detail, uh, blah, 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 adding the detail at the end and whatnot. But in the next video, we're gonna be sorting out the roofs, the kind of holes in the roofs. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in the next video. But if you like this video, you like what we're doing here, and you're enjoying it please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already add a comment tell me what you think and until next time goodbye